Midlands with the latest news, sport, weather forecast and what's on this weekend in the Lyme Regis area. Movie fans have been given their first glimpse of the new Willy Wonka film with the release of the official trailer which includes a brief glimpse of Lyme Regis. The release of Wonka has been highly anticipated since filming took place in Lyme Regis in October 2021. The film, now set to be released around Christmas, will be a prequel to Roald Dahl's famous Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and stars Timothy Chalamet as the eccentric inventor. The trailer includes one short clip of the famous Cobb Harbour in Lyme Regis, which was closed to the public and dressed in snow for the filming, with a CGI background behind it in place of Mama's Beach. Chalamet and other stars, such as British comedian Matt Lucas, sent fans into a frenzy when they arrived in Lyme Regis to film musical scenes. The lead actor later described filming as a joy and said that Lyme Regis was a beautiful place and they had been hosted very nicely by everyone in the town. A woman who was threatening to harm herself was taken to hospital after being tased by a police officer in Lyme Regis Cemetery. Police were called to the cemetery off Charmouth Road shortly after midnight on Sunday morning after receiving reports raising concern for the welfare of a woman. They found her in possession of a knife making threats to harm herself. During the incident, an officer deployed their taser to prevent the woman from actively harming herself. She fell to the ground and was treated at the scene by officers and paramedics before being taken to hospital for treatment to her injuries and as a place of safety. Her condition is described as serious but not life-threatening and the matter has now been referred to the Independent Office for Police Conduct. Two teenage sailors from Lyme Regis have qualified to attend World Championships in Italy later this summer and have launched a £2,000 fundraising appeal to help cover the cost of the trip. 15-year-old Noah Kenny and 13-year-old Ed Stubbs are keen dinghy sailors who currently train, race and coach younger cadets with the support of Lyme Regis Sailing Club. The pair race in RS Fever with Ed at the helm and Noah as crew. Having placed third in the RS Fever National Championships and third in the latest Grand Prix, they now have the opportunity to compete in the World Championships in Falonica, Italy later this summer. The young sailors have launched an online fundraising appeal to help them meet the £2,000 cost of the trip, which includes entry to the competition, accommodation and towing their boat 1,800 kilometres each way. You can support them by making a donation via the link shown on screen now. A total of £3,000 has been raised for two local charities by the former Mayor of Lyme Regis. Councillor Michaela Ellis chose to support Axminster and Lyme Cancer Support and Lyme Regis Pantomime Society as her Mayor's Charities during her year of office. She held various fundraising events during the year, including bingos, raffles, tabletop sales and tombolas, with the support of the two charities and has now presented cheques for £1,500 to each. The new Mayor of Lyme Regis, Councillor David Sarson, has chosen Lyme Regis Majorettes and the Children's Cancer and Leukaemia Group as his charities to support over the coming year. Lifeguard patrols on Lyme Regis Beach have now started ahead of the main summer season. RNLI lifeguards started their summer patrols on 23 more beaches across Devon, Cornwall, Dorset and Somerset this month, meaning that they will now be patrolling a total of 90 beaches across the southwest this summer. In Lyme Regis, lifeguards will be on duty from 10am to 6pm daily on the town's main sand beach up until the end of the summer holidays in September. In what was described as the biggest heist of the season by club chairman Steve Beatty, Upline and Lyme Regis conjured up their worst batting performance of this year's campaign last weekend, but still came away from Heathcote with a victory and 18 points to cement their third position in the Devon Cricket League Division C East. Heathcote won the toss, putting Upline into bat, and in a dismal performance, they were all out for 136 in 35 overs. None of the top order really got to grips with the home attack, with Tyler Wellman top scoring on 23, closely followed by Sam Farrow, Joe Ellsworth and Mark Beatty. Heathcote also struggled with the bat, especially against Steve Beatty and Preston Hillis, who both took four wickets, conceding 32 and 36 runs respectively. They were bowled out for 112 runs in 27 overs. Upline retained their third place in the table on 152 points, but still 16 behind second place Tynmouth and Sheldon. Braunton lead the table with 170 points. 
Tomorrow, Uplimer are at home to Ottery St Mary, who are in fourth place, just three points behind, which makes this a crucial fixture if Uplime are to stay in touch with the leaders. Lime Regis Golf Club recently hosted its annual past captains tournament and dinner. As is tradition, the event was hosted by the club's immediate past captain, this year being Steve Hames, and was a good opportunity for all past captains to meet up and reminisce, toasting to the health of the club with a glass of port. Guest of honour was Lynn Baker, who was captain in 1985. He joined the club in May 1937, and it is thought that with 86 years of continuous membership, he is the longest serving member of any golf club in the country, and perhaps even Europe. The dinner was preceded by the well-contested past captains competition, this year won by Arthur Danes and host Steve Hames. Lyme Morris will be holding their annual Morris Day on Saturday, which is expected to attract a record number of Morris sides from across the region and further afield. The event starts at 11am with the traditional Morris Parade led by town crier Alan Vian along Marine Parade and dancing performances will continue throughout the day on the seafront. The Marine Theatre in Lyme Regis will this weekend host blues singer Els Bailey tonight with doors opening at 7pm and its monthly comedy club on Saturday with headliner Joey Page, Chris Brooker, Catherine Mather and host Tom Glover. Meanwhile, the Nags Head will host its weekly live music night from 9pm on Saturday. And if it's live music you're looking for, neighbouring Bridport will be hosting its annual Jurassic Fields Festival this weekend, with some last minute tickets still available. If you are heading to the festival, it's time to dig out those wellies as it's a wet forecast for the weekend. Heavy rain is expected throughout most of the day today, brightening up in the evening, but strong winds and more showers are expected on Saturday with some chance of thunder and lighter rainfall is forecast for Sunday. Temperatures are set to reach highs of 18 degrees. Thanks for watching Lime Online's video news bulletins. You can stay up to date with all the latest local news throughout the week via the Lime Online website. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram or subscribe for our free weekly newsletter to ensure you don't miss a thing. Have a great weekend.